Welcome back, viewers. Today, we will be testing the Cyclic Interval Average Price Indicator. But before we do, if you have not watched our first video and the videos after that, you need to go do that now. At the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. And as a team, we will all profit from it when we are done. You can find a link to the first video down below. You can also find a link to sign up for TradingView down below. If you use the link below, you will save a little bit of money. You can also find a link below to join us on Discord. Discord is a free group communication platform. On our Discord server, we are having great conversations about all things regarding trading. One of the biggest struggles on this channel is people who use other platforms like MT4 being able to follow along. Sometimes it can be hard to find the indicators we are using on other platforms. And so on our Discord server, I have created a channel for indicator creation. And on that channel, I pinned links to freelancers who can code indicators for MT or for TradingView. So if you don't want to create a TradingView account, you can hire a freelancer for a really small fee and have them code an indicator for the MT platform. Or if you are on TradingView and need an indicator created, something unique or an indicator for a system you have developed, you can also have them code PineScript. So use the link for either MT4 coding or use the link for PineScript. Lastly, I get a lot of people that are asking me for the entire list of all the winning indicators that we have tested to date. And uh, whereas I am not a big uh, proponent of gatekeeping information, I've put a lot of time and effort into creating the content on my YouTube channel. And so I don't think it is too much to ask for the viewers to go through and view the content that I've spent a lot of time uh, creating. Now, if you are not interested in supporting our channel by going back and watching the content that I have created, then I have uh, developed a solution for you. I've created a Patreon account. I will put a link to it down below in the description. If you sign up for Patreon and you sign up for the $9 a month account, I will send you the full list of tested and winning indicators to date. I will also send you an updated list of the indicators that we are testing at the end of each week. Now, of course, you have to stay subscribed to the $9 uh, subscription, monthly subscription, to continue to receive the updated list of indicators. But that way, it will provide me with the support that I need to continue to provide the free uh, content that... I am putting out for everybody to view. Now, if you just love the channel in general and want to support us, then there is also a lower, uh, I think $3 Patreon subscription that you can sign up for that will also help support the channel and keep things going so that way I can continue to produce the content and the open information that we are creating here in this channel and in our discord server again if you have not signed up for our discord then you need to do that as well it is a absolutely free platform where we have real-time ability to chat and have conversations about trading and again if you want to support the channel with patreon then you can find the link down below in the description all right as i said Today, we will be testing the cyclic interval average price indicator. 
But before we do, I wanted to put the indicator scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested 150 indicators. And out of those 150 indicators, 62 of them have been winners, which means that they have met or exceeded the 60% win-loss ratio threshold that we have set for them. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now, you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. But as we are working on building the best trading system possible, you could take any one of those 62 indicators and get out there and start potentially profitably trading the markets with them now. So go back and watch those videos, make a list of those indicators, and get out there and see what you can do with them. But stick with us here as we work on maximizing your trading profits. All right, so here we are again on the cyclic interval average price indicator. Again, quite the mouthful. And so in the last video, uh, what we were looking at was the main line here. And we were looking for price action to break above or below that line to go long or to go short. We also looked at um, these, uh, these sloped trend lines that it seems to produce. Uh, and, you know, we're just trying to get an idea of whether or not um, that is something that could be a, um, a trading system in itself as well. Haven't quite decided on that yet. And so... Um, the next way I am interested in testing this indicator is simply when the line turns from one color to another. And so regardless of where price action is, when the line turns green, we would go long. And when the line turns red, we would go short at that point. And so... Um, I think this is um, a reasonable way of testing it. Again, I am not 100% sure how this indicator was meant to be traded. It is a TradingView member created indicator, uh, like most of the ones we've been testing recently. And like a lot of them, the creator gave absolutely no hints as to how this indicator should be used. And so, um, I believe that uh, this is the next uh, best logical way to try to test it. And then, uh, lastly, again, I think we might try something with these uh, trend lines, possibly. We'll see. And so, yes, that's uh, basically what we're looking for is for the, uh, the line here to turn either red or green, and we will trade accordingly. So let's get on with uh, let's get on with the testing here, see what we can get out of this. Unfortunately, we are right um, at the edge of this massive drop that took place back in uh, 2015. And so it'll be a little bit hard to kind of gauge support and resistance areas but it does look like we have one there looks like about there just kind of going going through and marking off the most recent areas of support and resistance just trying trying to get an idea of where price action might react to levels, something like that. It's always good to just go ahead and, and mark those off. I don't do it in every video because not every video do we discuss price action. But there we go, we've marked it off and we will go ahead and start playing out. There we go. And so price action here, you can see, made this really solid move to the downside. 
came down and bounced off this area and then shot up pretty quick um, again these are some of the hardest moves to really gauge what is going on with them because it wasn't a real clear push downwards i mean it, it was but you have this leg coming up here which um, kind of starts to um, invalidate the move down and then it shoots up and out without a whole lot of sign that it's going to do it I mean, you have basically just a long pin bar to the downside on this candle here and then this massive candle here which by that time a big chunk of the move has already been kind of established and that puts you at a pretty hefty uh, stop loss so let's go ahead and keep on playing here and watching price action and see what it's going to do so there's a good example of um, something you can keep your eye out for in price action and uh, what we have here is basically a giant M some people call it the market makers M um, some people call it a W some people call it a double top I mean there's many different names for it but basically we have a push to the downside and we don't even have to look at this area back here let's just look at this right here so we have one leg then it jumped up then it pushed back down and when it pushed down it didn't go lower now it, it's it's not that it can't but in this particular case it didn't it didn't go lower it actually came almost to this uh, support line here and then when it did it formed this long pin bar uh, to the downside and then bounced right here and so uh, had we been paying a little bit more attention and not going quite so fast we could have picked this up as a trade to the upside as it bounced and picked up this green bar right here giving us a pretty good indication that it was going to push to the upside now the reason why um, I'm not overly fond of this type of setup is that we haven't had a strong push in one direction or in the other leading right into it anytime you get a push strong push like we did here then you get a strong pullback move like this then a push down the market's kind of uncertain at that point and so in my opinion setups like this are a little bit less likely to uh, follow through all right so price action has moved up here it's starting to just kind of uh, tread to the side here we've gotten our first signal here I've turned off the values let me turn back on the values we get our first signal here it is a long signal and it does get us to take profit so that worked out pretty well price action here has come up hit kind of this area of support and resistance and now starting to chop to the side some you can see that it's not a a great move up but you can kind of see a few um, cycles take place in this move so kind of one and then a pullback two and then kind of a pullback then three a small pullback and then up and then now it's starting to roll over the top and chop to the side a little bit uh, this is usually a pretty good sign that a move has exhausted itself at least for a short period of time and will start to uh, correct itself and reverse whatever direction heading um, in that reversal direction at least for a short period of time and so I would expect at this point that it's going to push down at least a little bit if not further um, and then from there not really certain so let's see what happens there we go it's pushing its way down and it didn't go too far like I said it pushed down just enough and if we would have taken um, a trade based off of that information uh, we would have uh, possibly gotten 
we would have gotten stopped out there. So unfortunately, um, that would have hit our stop, but then it did eventually go in our direction. And so um, had we kept a little bit more of a, um, of a liberal stop on it and, you know, kind of put the stop up here above a uh, swing, then we could have gotten um, take profit out of it. All right, price action is now pushing up, 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 up. And now that we're starting to have a, a pretty good move to the upside, what we're looking for is signs of exhaustion up here as this move starts to run through its different cycles. Uh, it could be considered part of this overall up move, but um, nonetheless, we have this leg that's, that's pretty strong. All right, there we go. So that's a pretty good sign of exhaustion right there. Again, you see that it pushes up right into a, a ceiling of resistance. And as it does, it's rolling over the top. And as it rolls over the top, it spikes this red bar down right here. And that is a pretty good sign that it's going to want to uh, move down at least a little bit. Of course, we don't have anything else to really back up that idea. If we had something like volume on the chart or um, some kind of um, momentum oscillator, something like that, then we could paint a little bit better picture of whether or not um, this red bar uh, took place on some kind of um, some kind of you know pressure, buying pressure of some sort. But let's watch it and see if it can push its way down some. And it does, as we see, pushes down. It's now kind of just flattening out. Boom, 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 boom. Not really doing a whole lot. It's kind of consolidating here. And so um, this, this, again, is one of those kind of challenging price actions to read. Um, you know, it came up, it rolled over, it pushed down, then it wanted a hard consolidation. And so... Um, normally when they run into consolidation like this, it is market makers is holding price right here as they're accumulating orders before they move it in one direction or another. Um, I would say at this point, it's looking like, uh, they may be interested in pushing it down. We've ran green, uh, for quite some time now. And so it looks like maybe, um, they are looking to drive price action down a little bit more. But again, this is really uncertain. I mean, it's really just kind of uh, a 50-50 chance that it could go down or it could bounce and drive right back up. This is definitely not something I would take a trade off of. Let's watch it here. See what it does. Just a lot of uncertainty. When they start ranging the market like this, into consolidation it could go on for an extended period of time and they pushed it down a little bit so what they're doing is they're widening the range and so you have this channel that price is trading in and uh, they will start to bump price outside of that channel to widen the range a little bit before they make the um, the real move to one direction or another. Now, which way that's going to go is, again, rather uncertain. We did pick up a short signal right here on this one, and it looks like that short signal worked out pretty well for us, and so we'll go ahead and mark that off. And now let's watch price action and see what they do. They've widened the range to the downside some. Let's see if they push it to the upside some. Widening, 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 and a little bit more. Still no real strong move. They keep hinting towards going down. And that can sometimes be an indicator that um, they're actually going to run it in the opposite direction. So they keep hinting to the downside, hinting to the downside. And what they're doing is they're trying to pull in traders. And so they're pulling it to the downside getting in short traders, pulling it to the downside, getting in short traders, and they keep doing that 
and accumulating uh, positions for themselves and getting lots and lots of retail traders uh, pulled into short positions. And then uh, once they have enough pulled in, they will then drive it in the opposite direction to then uh, wipe out people's stops, take money, and then start to profit off their own positions. So let's see what they do. Again, this is really uncertain. This is not something I would take a trade off of, um, but just kind of, you know, market reading um, and having an idea of, you know, kind of how they do things. So let's see if they drive it to the upside now. Maybe, nope, nope. Spiked it to the down some. And there it goes. And so again, um, this is the problem with taking a move like this. You don't know how many times they're gonna drive it to the downside and widen those before they of reverse course and take off in the opposite direction. And so here is a perfect example of where they pushed it down even further. They really pulled in a whole bunch of short traders on this move right here. And then they immediately reversed it, driving it up. Let's look at our signals here. We got a long signal right back here. Unfortunately, it was at the worst possible time no good and then we get a short signal over here which was also right about the worst possible time we are almost to the end of the year now they have successfully pulled in a whole bunch of short traders in this move these moves right here to the downside they've accumulated a whole bunch of positions for themselves and then they immediately rammed price right back up through these highs taking out a whole bunch of stop losses gathering a whole bunch of profit for themselves and for their overlords and now they have driven it to the upside um, and at this point we would start to look for a sign of exhaustion because it's moved pretty significantly and so here we go we can start to see a little bit of exhaustion taking place uh, we picked up a long move right here. It's a little bit too soon to call. Yep, and there it goes. Sign of exhaustion. They shoved it down for a little bit. And we're at the end of the year. Alright. So, long move on this one here. Go ahead and measure it out. And it did barely got us to take profit so all right there you have it that is the next test of the cyclic interval average price indicator uh yeah not a whole lot of signals coming off of um this way of testing it unfortunately uh kind of suspected that would be the case but figured we'd give it a shot anyways. And so we have one, two, three, four, and five signals. And that gives us one, two, and three winning trades. So that does put us exactly at the 60% criteria, uh, just barely on it, uh, but on it nonetheless. And so at the moment, we will move this into the yes column of the indicators tested. And I think, like I said, I will, um, I'm still kind of undecided. I'll play around with this a little bit more today and see if um see if i'll give these sloped trend lines a little bit of a test never seen anything quite like them and so i think it's i think it's worth a shot to at least give them a try and play around with it a little bit and so i'm leaning 
quite heavily towards a yes on giving that uh, a try in the next video, but we'll see. So uh, yeah, we'll move this on to the yes list now and we will move on to the next video from here. If you have not already liked this video, comment below, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell notification so that way you are notified anytime I post a new video. As part of the team, it's important that you are seeing the new videos as they come out so you know what it is that we are discussing and what indicators we are testing, have tested, and have not tested. Also, like usual, there is a link below in the description to the Discord server. You can join us on Discord so that way we can further discuss the indicators and have discussions as we move forward building our trading system. And lastly, like usual, there is a link below to TradingView. If you like what you see whenever I use TradingView and you are interested in signing up for TradingView, if you use the link below and sign up for a paid account, you will save a little bit of money. So, all right, everybody, I will see you on the next video.